Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken and today's experiment is the baking soda powered boat. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is baking soda, vinegar, a bottle and cap, straw, scissors, glue gun, water, and a tub. To set up this experiment, you're going to need a soldering tool or a drill to put a hole in the bottom of the plastic bottle. I'm using a one liter plastic bottle. A soldering tool, which is very, very hot. Um, you could also use a drill, but make sure it's the same size as your straw or just a tad bigger. We're going to use a straw, dr regular drinking straw. I cut it two-thirds of the way uh, down. Uh, you just want to be able to have the straw go halfway up into the, the plastic uh, uh, bottle and not low enough where it's going to hit the bottom of your tub. So it kind of varies, but two-thirds of the way seems to work best. Then take your hot glue gun and put your straw in about halfway up and start to glue uh, so there's no water or anything can get in to the plastic uh, bottle. So you can let go of the straw and put, put the glue on uh, as the hot glue will take a second to dry. Then you can, once you have the glue on, uh, then you can pull the straw back to like a 45 degree angle just like that. And within a little bit of time, the hot glue will dry very quickly and you're ready to go to your next step. Should look just like that. Now to set up the baking soda, I take a regular piece of toilet paper, uh, put it down, and then I'm going to kind of make it like a burrito. So you take uh, just a single scoop of a spoon, uh, there's no exact measurement, and put it in the middle of the, the toilet paper and roll it up about halfway and then fold over one end and then continue to roll, kind of like a burrito. Um, and then you have your uh, baking soda all wrapped up, ready to go. Easier to put into the bottle this way. Now you take your vinegar and pour it in the bottle. You want to make sure the straw is facing straight up. You do not want it to have facing down. It will pour right out of the bottle. So with the straw facing straight up and you put in uh, about a quarter cup of uh, vinegar uh, just so it's not going over the straw. So you kind of just have to gauge that uh, on how much you're going to put in. You see right there it's not in the straw. The straw is facing up so you're not pouring all the vinegar out. And then you take your burrito uh, baking soda and carefully put it into the, the top of the bottle here, just like that. It should not go in. You do not want it to go in the vinegar. And then put the cap on tightly. Uh, and then you're going to flip it down, shake it down, um, and it will start uh, making CO2, just like uh, baking soda and vinegar. So now you flip it so the straw is facing down, and there you have it, a baking soda powered boat. And what's going on here is the baking soda and the vinegar are mixing a chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide gas. When this happens inside your bottle boat, the gas only can go out one way and escape, and that's with the straw. The gas is flying down the straw and out the back and pushing the boat forward. This is the same principle used by airplanes and jet engines. The hot gases are thrown backward out the engine that propels the airplane forward. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe as we do a new video every day. Thanks for watching.